Hello everyone. In this video, we will see what vector data in GIS means to us. If I go by the definition, vector data is a data structure that can be used to store spatial data. It represents real world features and assign attributes to those features. You can see the examples of vector data here. The vector data can have a geometric type of point, line, and polygon. The points are simply x, y, and z coordinates. It represents a geographic feature too small to be displayed as a line or an area. They generally indicate distinct components such as buildings, power poles, etc. And here in this image, you can see these points. Here, the points represent the buildings. Next, geometric type is the line. They are composed of many points that are connected. They need at least two points. They represent the linear features such as the road, stream, contours, etc. And here, in this image, you can see the line that represents the road. The final geometric type is the polygon. It consists of three or more vertices that are connected and closed. They represent enclosed areas like the dams, lake, country boundaries, etc. And here in this image, you can see the polygon that represents a big rock. The spatial data can be represented in vector as well as raster data. Since we know about vector data. Let us understand our raster data. Raster data is a type of spatial data that consists of a matrix of cells organized into rows and columns. And each cell represents a specific information. It is made of pixels, and the value of pixel can be continuous. It is used in satellite images and aerial imagery. Now let us compare them both. The first major difference is that the raster data is made of pixels and each pixel is associated with a specific geographic location. While vector data contains the XY coordinates and display the latitude and longitude using lines, points and polygons. Here I will show the difference using QGIS. Here you can see that while we zoom into a raster image, we can see that the image is made up of small pixels. And here in the vector data, the points have the xy coordinates here. We can see the coordinates position here on the map. The raster data type is continuous, meaning the data is in a constant sequence, example, pH value, distance, etc. While the vector data type is discrete, meaning the data has space between the values, for example, the reverse linear structures, etc. Here, this is a slope map. And if we zoom in and see, let me zoom into the map. Here, uh, the slope map is continuous. And here, there is a legend having the continuous data with the red color having the low slope or no slope, and the blue color having the high slope. And for the vector data, here we can see that these are discrete features. Another difference is that the raster data are present data in cells or a grid matrix, while the vector data are present in points or vertices.
let me show you an example here if i zoom into a raster image and here i can see square like grids this means that the raster image stores the data inside these grids and in the vector data here these points that the line meet are called the vertex the polygon line and points are used to represent the vector data and finally the raster data is usually large in size compared to the smaller size vector data and continuous data like the elevation map slope map can be considered examples for raster data and discrete data like points lines or polygons can be used to represent the vector data and here in the image here the features marked red are the vector data and the background map of the terrain is the raster data the vector data can be represented in different ways while storing the data on a computer some of the essential formats are here let us look at them one by one first one is the shape file it is a popular geospatial vector data for a gis software to store geographic features location shape etc the next one is the kml it is a standard format for sharing geographic data and visualizing in 3d earth browsers like the google earth now i will open the google earth and show you how a kml file look like and here you can see this is a kml file and here this is a discrete data and contain location information we get the coordinates of the points marked here we can also open the kml file in a notepad to see the coordinate values the dxf is a cat data file format which is often used to share drawing data between cat programs here i will show you the dxf file in cad here i have opened the autocad and you can see here they are discrete and here the set coordinates are labeled and to get the x and y coordinates we go to the properties and here we get the x y coordinates and below we also get the z coordinates the csv file can be visualized as a table that can only represent point data it is a delimited text file that we use a comma to separate the values now i will open the csv file and this is the csv file and here we have the x y and z values here each row represents a single point and if we open this file in any gis software each row will be displayed as a single point next we have the gdb file which is an argis specific format for editing and data management and finally there is an osm file which is a key value format written in xml for creating and sharing the map information now let us have a quick recap first we discussed what a vector data is then the types of vector data and the comparison between vector and raster data and finally the different vector data formats with this we come to the end of the video and i hope you gain some knowledge on vector data in gis if you are watching this video for the first time 
please like and subscribe and we will be sharing more videos weekly click on the bell icon so that you won't miss any of the upcoming videos thank you for watching the video